Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. It's weird. It's creepy. I don't know how they picked me. I just assumed they would never be found. It's been more than two years since police swarmed a Northport home, guns drawn, after a 911 caller reported someone was dead inside. But it was all fake. Tonight, police say they finally know who made that call. Thanks for counting on NBC2. I'm Kyla Gaylor. And I'm Peter Bush. The two men now arrested for that fake call aren't even from Florida. And as NBC2's Gage Gordon reports, this isn't the only fake call they made. For this story, we take you back to the afternoon of November 13th, 2020. It's a normal day in Sarah Courtney's life, but all that was about to change. Sarah says it started when she walked in the door. I was in there for maybe like five minutes, and I got a call from a Northport number, and they said that they were the police and that I needed to come outside. Police were closing in on her house along Perennial Avenue after they just got a 911 call. They were my husband, and that they came home and caught me having an affair, and they had killed my lover, shot him, whatever, and were holding me captive. We take them very seriously, any 911 call like that. It all turned out to be a hoax. No one was here except Sarah, and certainly no one was hurt. What really gave it away is when a voice came out of a ring doorbell, one that she doesn't know. Yo, what the These sham 911 calls are called swatting Hello? calls. And after two years and help from police departments across the country, the FBI and Department of Justice say these two were behind it all. 21-year-old Kaya Nelson, a.k.a. Chum Lull from Wisconsin, and 20-year-old James McCarthy, a.k.a. Aspartame, who lived in Arizona at the time. These individuals were responsible for not only the instance here in Northport, but a handful across the country. They got into her ring doorbell by first popping into her email account. Here they were able to grab her login information and watch, waiting for her to come home. And when she did, that's when they phoned in that bogus call to Northport police. My own kids were like, do they know where we live? Can they see us? You know, so like all of these invasions of privacy. Unfortunately, the answer is yes. It was the same for families in at least nine other states, too, says the DOJ. I just assumed they would never be found. Oh, but they were. And if they're found guilty, both could be facing up to 12 years in prison. Reporting local tonight in Northport, Gage Golding, NBC2.